Hello everybody, we are back in the hospital. Uh, for those of you that have seen um, sort of the reports on Facebook, I might have put one on the YouTube channel itself. The reason the video hasn't been out in a little bit is I wound up having to go back in the hospital on Thursday of last week because the pick line that was in, I'm assuming, one of the individuals when they were working on it, they got to change like the dressings and stuff like that. They sort of yanked on a little bit and pulled it out like an extra two and a half centimeters. And they thought possibly he was infected. So <clears throat> basically I had to wait until Saturday to get the blood cultures back for 48 hours to allow me to get a new pick line put in because they had to pull out the old one. Unfortunately, they don't put pick lines in on the weekend. So it's here today on Monday. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting the pick line in at some point, hopefully coming up here soon. Whether that's the case or not, I don't know. But uh, I did want to get this out to give you guys an update on what's going on. Let me get my bed up here so I have my legs up a little bit. You got too close of a look at me there. Terrifying, I know. Um, thankfully, this hospital stay was actually relatively simplistic. I wasn't very happy about it at the get-go because of why I had to be in here that sort of made me just a little irate because it was like it was somebody messed up um but at the same time it's you know procedural and you're trying to make sure that nothing does happen so you got to make sure there's no infection and that type of stuff so I get that it just sort of is the fourth time in like a month and a half which wasn't fun but I'm doing well um so I'm looking forward to being able to go home, hopefully today, get a little bit of that freedom again. Uh, actually, the room I shared here in the hospital was a man named Bruce, who was just an absolute darling of a man, just a really cool guy. Um, we actually will be meeting Bruce again. Um, he runs a music store here in Lebanon that just cel is celebrating its 100th anniversary. So this is going to be one of those things I'm going to be doing for Visit Lebanon Valley, which I guess this is what I'll use this as well. i got to get together with them to figure out exactly how they want me to make these videos, but there will be a new series called Visit Le Visiting Lebanon Valley, something along that line. Um, and it won't have the, the normal hometown historian stuff before and after the video. It'll be Visit Lebanon Valley. It'll be specific specifically for them. So we'll be visiting all kinds of neat historical places, a lot of places that we've already visited, like Union Canal Tunnel Park, uh, the Bordner Cabin. We have not visited Middle Creek yet, but if you follow the Wandering Woodsman channel, that's a place that he has gone quite often. I'd actually like to get together with my friend Todd, who was my science teacher, because uh, he does a lot of photography out there and knows a lot about Middle Creek. So we might get together with him and have him talk about that. But part of this Visit, visit Lebanon Valley series is also going to be contacting a number of these local businesses and having interviews with the owners them talking about the history talking about what they offer today this is this idea of getting to tourism in in lebanon valley and showing everything that lebanon valley has to offer uh really is an extraordinary place a lot of history here a lot of really neat places a lot of places to hike bike horseback ride all kinds of adventures uh enjoying nature uh experiencing the Appalachian Trail does go through here in this Lebanon Valley area. A uh, lot of really neat places in the area. So we're going to be doing a series on that. The first one is probably going to be the Franklin House in Schaeferstown, Pennsylvania. I'm going to go there talk about its history from its uh, founding in 1742 by Alexander Schaefer and the importance of Market Square there. So we'll be showing you that. Hopefully at some point that'll be the starter video. I might even do an introduction video with a bunch of pictures of the Lebanon Valley and just talk about what the valley means here and the history that's here and the future series. So uh, we'll be doing quite a bit of work with them. We'll probably be doing um, town walk walkthroughs, that type of stuff as well because um, they're the ones that are behind uh, the heritage trails for each of the towns. I'll also be working with them for the African-American trails of history as well, uh, which we've talked about quite a bit. So a lot of cool stuff coming up with the channel. 
I'm hoping to start putting together some of these videos that I have yet in the next day or so because I'll be home all this week. I'm not going to attempt to try to go back to work yet. Foot's healing rather well. And one of the cool things, too, is they're saying if I qualify, I may be able to do like the hyperbolic chamber, which would help this heal even faster because the granular tissue on the, the base tissue that's growing over everything that like bone and ligaments and tendons that are were open, um, that would help that heal a lot quicker. And it's healing very, very nicely right now. So we're in a good place. Um, take my time. I'm not going to push anything. But I probably will go out and do some, some filming uh, live just to enjoy life. Um, I had some friends that gave me some pretty significant gifts. Um, I want to say thank to Kate. I want to say thank to Jay uh, for both of them. For Jay had sent a birthday card earlier, but he sent another gift. Uh, card for I guess Halloween and for this time of year uh, with a very nice gift so thank you Jay very very much I do appreciate that it helps a lot right now because I'm not able to work uh, a whole lot and even what I'm going to be able to work over the next month is not going to be that much uh, I probably will not be able to start working semi normally until maybe middle of January end of January at the best it just sort of is what it is because this is such a significant thing and because this is sort of the last hurrah for my hoof on the left side. If it breaks down any more, that foot and that leg are gone up to the knee. Uh, it just sort of is what it is. It doesn't sound like that's likely. As long as we stay on the right path, we're in a good place. Um, but anyways, uh, there's a lot of neat stuff that I want to try to do with the channel and like I said, I'm going to concentrate a lot on the Lebanon Valley and then start trying to get some of these other series going. It's just when you're in a hospital room with somebody else, even as cordial and as awesome as he was, this is just weird doing this unless you're in a room by yourself. And uh, I don't want to cause issue in that regard, make things weird. But uh, so we will be visiting Bruce's music store. It's called Lozier's Music. Uh, it's been... 100 years, I believe, this year. Uh, really neat place along Cumberland Street there in, in downtown the shopping district, the old shopping district, I should say, but the historic district of Lebanon City. Uh, it, it's a staple in the area. It's been around since, I believe, 1923. But, uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a bunch of different things that... Uh, We'll be trying to do here and checking out and seeing some new places and getting the channel moving a little more consistently because hopefully, hopefully this is the last time I got to be in the hospital. I don't think I can take a whole lot more. Like you get treated really well, but it's just you don't rest, you don't sleep, you're being stabbed all the time. That isn't fun. The vampires come and visit you at five in the morning and stuff like that, and I'm just not enjoying that. But uh. Thank you, everybody, for your prayers, for your thoughts. Uh, thank you to Kate and uh, Jay once again for the really nice cards that you guys sent me and the gifts that you sent as well. Uh, thank you to everybody else as well. I will have a mail time where I show the cards. I just don't have access to that right now. It's out in, out in Chuck right now who's hiding in the parking lot waiting for me before we can make our escape. But uh, and I could also put some other thoughts uh, and prayers my mom is in the hospital right now. It's actually weirdly she's on the other side of the wing right now, which thankfully she's not in the ER anymore because she was in there for a while. But she had a UTI, and right now she's still sort of very confused. It's sad to see her like that because she already has dementia. But with the dehydration, the UTI and everything, it's sort of rough. I had to stop there for a second because somebody was coming in uh, to get the tray. Um, but anyways... So that's where we're at. A lot of cool stuff to come. Um, so thank you as always, and I appreciate some prayers from my mom as well. She'll be in here for probably at least another two or three days. They were saying originally maybe Tuesday, but with as confused as she is right now, like, to my mom's ever-living credit, she apparently thought that the communists were trying to <laughs> recruit her. Um, you shouldn't laugh, but it's still sort of funny. And she knows, too. She says, I'm like, I'm really sort of confused right now. And I was like, it's okay, Mom. You're going through all this different stuff, so your mind's not going to be working correctly. But 
to her ever loving cre living credit, she uh, she told him to get lost. It's like, I don't want anything to do with you communists. So, but anyways, so uh, that's where we're at, and uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, and so you know I'm still alive and not being held hostage by one of my fellow YouTubers who's competing against me. Anyway, so thanks everybody, and uh, as always, we'll see you all about town.